Hi friends, welcome to DevOps Ansible ML scripting course video series presented by Narendra from Do It Python Technologies. See, in this video, we are going to see uh, some of the modules in your playbook uh, like register and delegate too. So, what they are, why they are using in your playbook or in your ML scripting. Let me start with very first module that is register module in Ansible playbook. See, register module is simply it is used to store the response to some variable after creation of or after completion of any task. Suppose if you if you are going to do some task like if you are going to create a, some folder or file in remote server on remote server, right? Definitely after creation of your uh, file on remote server, it will give some response. What is the response that? How you can see that? So before going to see, you must store that response. If you are able to store that response into some variable, then you can able to print on your command line so that you can see of the creation of your file, right? What is the response for that? So for that, we are using register module. Okay, then how to use this? So if you want to store the response of, uh, I mean, response of any task, then define a register section at the end of each task. So that you will you will able to store the response into some variable and we know in order to see the variable then again you have to use one more task that is debug that task with the debug module right okay suppose example if you take i want to create a file through ansible playbook on remote server then that response what is the response generally you will get after creation of file this response is maybe different uh, based on module or task now suppose if you are going to use some module or uh, if you are going to create a file through command or uh, file module or copy module then what is the response you are going to get so by using response you can able to see what is the source for that created file then what is the destination on uh, where you created that file what is the path for that and what is the group name for that file owner name and uid likewise you will get information that is nothing but response of the creation of your file okay and moreover this register module is more more helpful in conditional statements just i will give a simple example suppose you are going to uh, write some you are going to create some file but before going to create a file you are going to check whether it is there or not so for that suppose you will use some module so that you will get some response in that response you will get whether that file is there or not that condition you can check so when you will when you can check that condition if you are able to store the response of condition response of task that task just assume i am going to check whether file is there on remote server or not for that i will write some task so that task response if it is there suppose yes if it is not there no that response you have to store it right to store that response we will use register module once if you store then you can work uh, some condition on that variable so that you can decide your requirement okay okay anyway <coughs> suppose how to use that register module in your playbook so i am going to take simple example okay and whenever if you are if you are going to use a register module at the end of your each task you have to use this register module how you can use it in suppose simple task i am taking directly i am starting my section with the tasks here we will see that example and uh, my turn suppose i am going to create a file with some uh, command module then definitely after creation of this file it will give some response in order to catch that response you have to use register module here you can take any variable name okay but make sure that that is not a i mean like a module name or any keys name then now to print this information on your command line you know we have to use debug module then there is a syntax to print that okay uh, let me go and do execute this uh, script on my command line so that you can able to understand that Let me see. This is my Ansible admin server. 
or ansible controller so i am checking yes it's there now i am going to ping my all servers those who are connected with this ansible and it's mandatory to check before going to run the script because so that you will able to check the connectivity right yes my those two servers are able to connect with my ansible admin server or ansible admin client or ansible controller okay anyway let me go and write some simple script so our example is suppose i am going to take the script name as usage of register module dot yml okay you can write comments if you, if you want to write some comments yes you can write that comments right <clears throat> so in order to write comments you can use some hash then right suppose this is a playbook with one play just yes, assume then your standard syntax three hyphens then first to play with the first hyphen see i am using a uh, name module here this is just uh, useful uh, to give some information while running your command first i am going to define that you can define this uh, like with your information suppose this is a play then you have to provide host information right host i am going to take all hosts okay then uh the next thing you have to provide variable section but as of now i don't want any variable section then i will go with directly task section and i am going to write uh, some simple file i am going to create some simple file on remote server on remote clients so for that i am taking command module of course you can take copy as well simply i am going to run touch command on temp location then instead of running all servers uh, i will take only one server suppose app servers are there see if you create with the two files i mean uh, with all servers you will get info response for on all servers so that uh, i can't see all output on my terminal that's why i'm taking only single server you can check it you can run your uh, a uh, script for all servers and you can able to understand and you can able to see what is the response you are getting for all servers i am going to take uh, register dot uh, register module dot txt this file i want to create so after creation of that it will give some response so immediately after completion of that task that module okay that task you have to write register module and suppose response out any variable you can take it so that that register module will able to store your response into this variable now i want to print that information on my command line while running my script so you have to include debug task right so to print that you have to use message arguments in your debug So D E P U G module debug. So our information is there with variable, right? Repo out. So whenever if there is any information, then how you can print that? I showed in one of my previous videos. You can go through that and you can see that. Now let me run that Ansible playbook. if there is any error then we will see that you think facts yeah see change yes <coughs> oh god we got output as hello world that's not correct what is the problem there let me go and check that maybe variable name is missing repo out register yeah we have to provide some space here guys 
that's it after each and every argument you have to provide some space yeah, anyway before going to run already that uh, file is created on remote server right let me check that ansible all hyphen i am command arguments as a list and the temp location see what is the file we have created now app server register this one so i want to delete that so i am going to delete remove hyphen order just i am using a lot of commands of course you can write for this also script register module.txt this file i want to let's see yeah let me check that again now there is no register file here on this host now let me run now our script and before running our script guys let me clear my screen and once again this is our script. This script will create our file in this location. Okay, under temp, this it will create this file, and for that it will print the response as well. So previously we are not getting response because here we have uh, not followed the standard syntax. We didn't provide space here. If you are not providing any space, then debug model instead of giving error, it will provide default message that is hello world. Anyway, now I am going to run that. Ansible playbook uses of our register module. Now observe your output. See, you are getting some response here, right? So change true means yes, it's created. What the command we use, right? So these are the some of the information for your file. From response, what you uh, I mean, not file, the response you are getting. Okay. Okay, guys, this is the way how to use register module. Now, let me go with the next concept that is delegate to module in Ansible playbook. Delegate to. See, I will explain this with the example. Let me run the uh, open same script. But before that, guys uh, i'm going to delete that the created file so that i can run same script once again yes now if i execute list on my remote server see there is no file register now what will happen observe that simply i am going to modify in the same script itself guys See, suppose, anyway, now I'm going to delete this part. In your command, after completion of your task, immediately I'm writing delegate to, here suppose I'm writing local host. You can write any host name or any group name, whatever it may be. Okay. We have to provide, suppose, some server name. Instead of giving some remote server, yes, you can give a remote server as well. Instead of uh, providing remote uh, server, I just I am giving local host. But of course, you can provide any host name here that's valid. Then what will happen? See, actually, uh, yeah, in in this list, host list, I am providing all. Now you can understand what is the purpose of delegate to. Nothing is there, guys. You are actually you are providing all. Now, whatever the task you are executing here, that will be executed basically on all hosts, whatever the host you provide this in this place, right? But because of this delegated to, even though if you are providing some host list here, it won't execute your task on all your hosts. Instead of that, it will execute only in the particular host, whatever you are given in this delegated to module. That's it. Suppose, now I am going to save this. And I am going to run that file. Ansible playbook. And guys, before running, let me 
once again list the under temp location all my servers i don't have observe here register module uh, register uh, file dot txt file right now what will happen if i run my script ansible playbook uses of aml yes it has done okay but now observe that in temp location see you don't have register uh, uh, .txt file but on local host if you search now i am going to search on only one my local host see register mo.txt file is there but actually whenever if you uh, write your uh, script aml script and in host information whatever the host you are providing on the on, on that host generally your task will be executed but because of this option instead of running your task on all hosts it will run only on this particular host that's it there is a purpose of delegate to module okay okay guys thank you for watching this video do subscribe my channel if you have any queries you can post as comments or you can also drop a mail with this uh, mail id do with python on the top gmail.com okay bye